been an incredibly incredibly lazy day today like you can see here Henry kind of started that off for this this morning when he was found doing something that he really wasn't supposed to be doing all right we just barely got done with our morning routine and they just had their hair combed and their teeth brushed we went to go get a morning snack and guess who wasn't there why Henry he was found splashing in the toilet and rubbing toilet water on his face. So joyful. So now it is just after 5 o'clock and I just barely got ready for the day. Um, and I only got ready because Sydney filled up her potty chart. So we're going to take her out to go get her potty prize. She says when we got her potty chart and everything and started really potty training I asked her what she wanted if we filled the potty chart and she said a baby and I said okay so I don't know what I have agreed to buy for her but we're gonna go find out all right Sydney and I just got done shopping at Target picking out her treat for potty training and it wasn't as bad as I thought so we're gonna have her show us everything we got and no it's in there so it's just she got a kinder egg. And some Hatchimals. Hatchimals. When you get the Hatchimals. You go poo poo. You go poo poo. And then you got your doll. You got your LOL doll for filling up your chart, huh? What are you going to get the next time you fill up your chart? Get some Prego and get some. No, oh, there's a surprise that you go poop. All right. Love you, Sydney. Love you. Another reason we are leaving the house for today is because um, I need to go pick up Henry's last birthday present at Carter's. And Sydney has been doing awesome potty training as long as she's bare bum. She can't even have pants. And the problem with that is I don't really have any day dresses for her. I only have like dress up stuff. So we're also going to see if we can't maybe find some really cheap like casual day dresses for her while we're out. So. Alright, so we just got done at Carter's. Good. We picked up Henry's swimsuit, which is his last thing. So this is his rash guard. It says tiny but mighty. I thought that was perfect. And then it goes with these bottoms and they're size 12 to 18 months so it might not actually fit him by his by the time he turns two which is sad but currently his swimsuit is 9 to 12 and sometimes the bottoms fall off so right now and then Sydney got spoiled she got two dresses that she can wear while potty training so she can just wear them and not have anything underneath but she can still like go outside or whatever and then we'll just slip undies on when we go somewhere and then she really, really, really wanted this one outfit. And it was on clearance, so I got it for her. But I got it in size 5T so she can wear it for a long time. So, we'll go home and hopefully she'll still be awake when we get there to give you guys fashion show. Alright, Sydney fell asleep on her way home. So no fashion show, but it's actually nice because I was able to just put her straight to bed. But here is what she got. Dress number one. Dress number two. And then this one was just an outfit that she really wanted that was on clearance. So we got it in a size up so she can grow into it. Some other things we did today were the kids' workbooks. The kids are like loving, loving, loving their workbooks. Like they get mad when it's time to put them away and go do something else. It's kind of funny. Um, but here are some pictures of what they did today. Neil thinks that last one is a little creepy. I think Cindy did an awesome job of finishing drawing those people, but anyway, 
and I was just sitting here editing the vlog and I realized that Isaac didn't really make an appearance in today's vlog so we're gonna go see if he'll do something for us to end this vlog. What trick are you gonna do for me? Am I going to do this? Okay, and what was your other trick? Woohoo!